Hi, my name is Sven, Sven Nonbo. I'm a product manager for the desktop scanners and uh, I'm here to present you the desktop um, scanner portfolio that uh, we made for you here for 2015. And what we have in this portfolio is really a lab scanner for every need. We have our entry-level scanner, which is the D500, which is known to you. And then we have two new mid-range scanners replacing the 700 series and the 800 series uh, is the D750, which is really a workhorse of productivity. We have the D850, which gives you implant bar accuracy. We have the D900, where you get higher speeds and you get colors on your scans. We have two brand new top models, the D1000 and the D2000, which have a new technology that we call multi-line scanning. I'll come back to that, but you really get high productivity with these two, two scanners. I actually brought the D2000 scanner here so, uh, so you can see it. I'm gonna come back to that uh, in a little while. First, I'll tell you about the upgrade that we did for the mid-range. As you probably know, we have had the 700 and 710, 800 and 810 in our portfolio for some time. We decided to upgrade those scanners um, and we made complete new scanners with a new updated technical platform. We switched from the red laser to the blue LED and that gives us the possibility to get a little higher uh, level of detail, uh, a little less noise in the scans. You also get with these scanners, you get the multi-die scanning um, with these, these uh, uh, scanners using the, the multi-die fixture. And as you may know, last year we introduced the D900L, which have large interior. So same outside size, but we managed to put, uh, to get a little more space uh, on the inside. And what does that give you? Well, that gives you the ability to put mounted gypsum models in the scanner, high models, such as this one, which you were not able to uh, to scan probably in the in the older scanners with with standard interior size. Also, you can put large impression trays into the scanner and models with attached uh, articulators without uh, uh, really um, risking hitting the door. And as I said, the 750 will replace the 700 and 710 and the 850 will replace the 800 and the 810 in our portfolio. And now something I'm really excited about uh, to uh, present to you is the new multi-line scanning technology that comes with uh, our new D2000 scanner and the D1000 scanner. And what is that? Well, on the right you see the old way of doing it, one uh, red laser going over the object. Now, with the multi-line scan, we have actually 27 lines. And with that, we can cover the complete model just by going whoop, from one line to the next, then the complete case is scanned. So we can scan a lot faster. You can even say 20, 27 times faster, but that's not on, uh, the case because you actually get, uh, you also need time to, to move the axis and, and everything. But we do get a lot better speed uh, from this one. And also, as you can see from the illustration, there are actually four cameras on this, uh, on this, um, uh, on, on these models. And the inner cameras, they are quite close to the light source, so you can really see in, into some deep cavities and scan some hard to access areas. I'll come back to why that is important in, in a little while. First, the D2000 scanner here. It's, as you have may noticed, it's bigger than the other ones. And that's because it's got room for two models inside the scanner. So here I have my, my models uh, mounted in my occlusion setup tool. I put the lower in, I put the upper in, and then I can scan. And with that, I can scan the entire case, um, which I'll come back to here, because as you remember, the inner cameras allows us to scan really hard to access areas. And what does that give us? Well, take an example of a three unit bridge. In a three unit bridge, you will scan the preparation side, you'll scan the antagonist side, you'll scan the bite to get occlusion, and you'll scan each of the two dies. Right? Well, 
with the D2000 and the multi-line scanning, we can actually scan the dyes while in the arch because it can see even the margin line, even though uh, it's, it's close to, to, to neighbors. So I don't need to scan the dyes. Furthermore, I don't need to scan the bite because I have this occlusion setup tool where I set up the models on top of each other. The software will then scan them and reverse them and put them on top of each other so I can skip the bite scan. Actually, there is another way of skipping the bite scan. I'll come back to that in just a second. And furthermore, as you saw, I can put in both the preparation side and the antagonist at once, so I don't need an extra operation to scan the antagonist. So what does that give us? Well, that remains one operation, what we call all-in-one scanning. You can do everything in one go. And now you might, might ask, well, can I do this in all cases? Well, not all cases, but the majority of cases. Uh, there are cases where it's the the uh, the neighbor is is really leaning so much over the uh, the preparation side that you really can't see the margin line. But in that case, you simply realize that after you scanned, and then you scan the die separately. We made a short video uh, to illustrate the difference between traditional scanning steps and the brand new all-in-one scanning now possible with the D2000. Enjoy. Okay, so I mentioned the skip byte scanning and I just showed you the occlusion setup tool. If you want to know more in details about how the occlusion setup tool works, you can uh, check the video we made on uh, youtube.com slash 3 -ship. There is another way of doing it, which I'll just briefly explain. Here I have our occlusion transfer calibration object. I know it's a long name, but that's what it's for the occlusion transfer calibration object and what you really do with that is you use it to calibrate the position in the scanner. Uh, to show you one of the ways to skip byte scan that you can use with all scanners that have large uh, interior is that you can actually transfer the position from the physical articulator of mounted models into the virtual articulator of dental system and I'll explain you how that works. The first thing is that you have your occlusion transfer calibration object which is these boxes here and yeah, I've set it up so that the occlusal plane of the articulator is where these two uh, parts of the object meet. So what I do is I calibrate my, phys my uh, physical articulator with the scanner and I do that only once. So I take my mounted uh, occlusion transfer calibration object and I put it on the uh, transfer plate, like so, and then I put it into the scanner. Now, in order to do that, you need to take out the scan height adapter, and then I do that. And similar for the, for the other model, I take out the scan height adap adapter, I use the upper model here, put it on the transfer plate, put it in the scanner, and now I can calibrate the position. Having done that, which as I said I only do once, I can take out the models and now I can use the transfer plates for my mounted gypsum models. 
I simply take my lower model, put it on the transfer plate, and I put it in the scanner. Take my upper model, put it on the transfer plate, and put it in the scanner. And now I can scan the two models. And because I calibrated the position of the physical articulator, I get the position of the lower model in the virtual articulator, I get the position of the upper model in the virtual articulator, and since they're both in the virtual articulator, well, then we know the relative position. So there is no need to do a byte scanning. So you both get the position from the physical articulator and you get uh, to skip the byte scan so you get higher productivity as well. So those were two ways to, uh, to, to skip the byte scan. Uh, the one with the transfer from the uh, physical articulator, that requires that you have a large uh, interior so that you can actually scan the mounted models. With the D500 you cannot do that, uh, but with all the other scanners in the, in the portfolio you can do that. So, to summarize the new D2000 and D1000, what can they do? Well, they can do this all-in-one scanning, which really boosts uh, productivity. But the actual scanning is also significantly faster than the scanning of, uh, of the older models, uh, because of this multi-line scanning where you can scan faster, and the bigger the model, the bigger the benefit. Uh, whereas if you have a really small die, well, most of the time is spent on moving the die anyway. Um, with the scanners you also get the real color technology that we have uh, and introduced with the, with the D900. And then we really have high accuracy. There is a standard, ISO standard called uh, 12836. Uh, with that um, uh, standard, these scanners, the 1000 and the 2000, actually have a 5 micron uh, accuracy. And the accuracy of the other scanners is also very, very good. So, now that was the hardware, there was also the software. We made an important upgrade to the software. We made a complete new scanning application that is really a significant improvement. Now what does it do and why is it an improvement? Well, for one thing it's more flexible. You can scan the die, the dies and the models and in any, any uh, order you want. You can just jump around and scan whatever you, you want. And it's also faster. It is especially faster because the post-processing, what is happening after you get the points until you get the surface, that will be done in the background. So you have a normal case, you scan the preparation, get the point from that, and then as soon as you have the points, you can go on and scan the antagonist. And then it'll do all of this calculation to get the nice surface with colors and everything. It'll do that in the background while you're scanning the antagonist. So it's a really boost of uh, of uh, productivity, and this one, this uh, goes for all the scanners, uh, the new scanners the, the, that we are introducing, but also the scanners that you might have in your lab today. So, to summarize, we have the lab scanners for every need. We have the entry-level scanner, uh, the 500. We can go to higher productivity with the 750. We can get higher accuracy with the D850 so that you can get uh, implant bar accuracy. With the D900L, you get speed and colors. With the D1000 and D2000, you get multi-line, so you get even higher speed. And you can scan the dies uh, in the model. And obviously, with the D2000 and the two rotation axes, you can actually scan all in one scanning. So. That's the end of the scanner portfolio presentation. I hope that you uh, find it uh, as exciting as, as I do, and uh, frankly, I am quite excited about it. Um, if you want to know more, you can always go to our freshly uh, updated 3shape.com website, or you can uh, look at some of the videos on YouTube slash 3shape. Thank you.